sort is going on guys, before this video starts, I just want to quickly tell you that this is a re-upload. Once again, the FA Premier League have taken down my video and blocked it worldwide due to a six second clip of Paul Scholes, if you saw in the last video, from about 10, 12 years ago now. So that's utterly ridiculous, I think, because there are videos out there which literally give you every single goal from the Premier League each year and that's absolutely fine to have on YouTube. So guys, please show this video the same love and support as you did last time, especially with the Premier League destroying it and taking it down. Sorry for this quick intro, but I had to explain myself. Enjoy the video if you haven't seen it already. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, today me and Jamal15 are going to be doing the ultimate midfielder challenge. How are you feeling about today? I'm a defender, so I, I, I can see where I might do well in this, but at the same time, no. There are some aspects midfielders share with defenders, yep. but we're going to have to find out what the three attributes we're going to be testing throughout this video are later on. But the first one is going to be long range passing. Obviously, well-known midfielders such as Gerrard, Lampard, Skulls, you name it, they are all very, very good at their long range passes. Even David Beckham, who was a master at it. So round one is going to be testing the long range passing ability of us. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so it's round one. And as I said before, focusing on long range passing. As you can see behind me, there are three goals. The two wide goals are worth 25 points. And the final far one in the middle is 50 points. Okay, so we're going to have five attempts each. Are you going to go safe or are you going to go for the long one? The high risk factor. You have to find out. Okay, let's do it. Let's test our long range passing. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm hoping Gerard really comes in too much. Yeah, he's, a, yeah, he's not around anymore. What would Pogba do? No way. That's Kurt. Oh, oh my, my god. god. You can <laughs> Right, fifth final go. Your 50 points to the good. Yep. I need to get the 50.1 now, otherwise I've lost. That's it, that's it. Yeah! I did it! Oh, oh, I don't know why I'm cheering. I don't know why I'm cheering. Hang on. That's gone in. Has it gone in? No way. Has that gone in? Ricocheting in. Wait, that, that must count. That has to count me. Purely for the fact that was one of the greatest <laughs> trick shots I've ever seen in my entire life. Right, so Jamel, you managed to win the long range aspect of this midfield challenge. I did. Very... Creatively. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think because it was so in like unbelievable, I had to give you the 50 points. I respect that. So round one goes to you. Round two is all about the edge of the box shot. As we know, one of the best midfielders of our generation and previous generations is Paul Scholes. He was well known from getting a corner delivered to the edge of the box and just welling it like top corner pretty yep. much. So for this challenge, we're gonna have a corner taker knock it into the edge of the box. You're, you are allowed one touch if you'd like. Okay. One touch to control it, to hit it, or you can hit it first time. Cool. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Five goes each. You can go first this time, so I'll be putting the corners in. Did there was a half volley 
over the bar. That's what I'm going to try not to do. Half volleys are very easy to knock over the bar because you're leaning back. I'm going to try to take a touch. Hopefully, I'll score. I won 2-1 on my fifth and final go. So that means you won the first one on the long range passing, amazingly. I won the second one. Now the third thing generally midfielders are good at are free kicks. The likes of Payet, Beckham, Ronaldinho, Zidane, Janino, any any midfielder pretty much. Yep, Frello, yeah. Exactly. We're so gonna do left-sided free kicks. Okay? Yep. We're gonna have a wall. This is the third and final round. Pretty much done there. Right, five free kicks each. As you can see, that is the wall. I'm gonna go first for this one. Yeah. As it's the last round. You ready? It's kind of like sudden death, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Two crossbars. Fair play. Bloody hell. Raise the bar. Okay. My fifth and final go. If I score this, I'll bury it and beat you. So, Jamel, that is that. I did win overall. And one gutting thing, as you would have just seen, our second camera cut out for I don't know what reason, um, just after my first crossbar hit. So you didn't get to see the close-ups and the slow-mos of my goals and George's epic. saves. They were epic, mate. But I did win. You were on fire. I've never seen you like that before when it comes to free kicks. That was mental. I, I had a few good attempts. You did, you did. I tried to play it a bit strategic, but yeah, Fear was just wrapping them like it was FIFA 17. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah, it was, I was all good. That was all good. So, it's 2 1 overall. I'm the ultimate midfielder champion. Well done, Jamel. Well done for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. But of course, guys, that is the end of the video. <laughs> if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Jamel's channel. We did another video on your channel. What do we do? We can't tell them, they have to find out. They have to find out, they have to go over there and subscribe. Links are in the description below. Thank you to George. 
for going in gold. World class saves. And we'll see you in another video very, very soon. So until then, guys, we'll see you later. Peace. Right, Dan, I've got none. You've got none. Fifth and final go, you can go 2-0 up, which means you have zero chance of losing this, this video. No, what the hell? I wasn't even paying attention. Good night. Throat's bloody oak as well. The fourth challenge, call up penalties. We all know how this works. 